Judy Rob customers tell me they trusted Window Depot of Chicago to honor their contracts and get their jobs done. The couple you're about to meet says they paid the company $30,000 up front. And eight months later, they say the company's owners are nowhere to be found. With a new home and new baby, this Buffalo Grove couple was excited about their upcoming home project. We're going to change out all of the siding and the windows, so it was going to be a white home with all black. So basically the entire exterior of the home, with the exception of the roof. After doing extensive research, the couple says they came across Window Depot of Chicago. We found this company that had really good reviews, so we interviewed them, came in and started the process from there. Last May, they paid Window Depot of Chicago half of the money up front, which came out to $30,000. But they say weeks went by and they didn't hear anything. At what point do you get a really bad feeling? I found all of these negative reviews of people saying they're in the same place as us. They've been ghosted by Windows Depot of Chicago. No one has heard from them. No one's had any work done. And that's when it just, it really hit us. It really sunk in. Several people have reached out to the I-team with similar stories. Grace Reedy says the company did finish her home project, but she received this notice in the mail from a subcontractor threatening to put a $13,000 lien on her home, claiming Window Depot of Chicago didn't pay them for materials. What did they do with our money? We paid. The only thing that we can th I can think of is you know, they were robbing Peter to pay Paul. No one from Window Depot of Chicago has returned my calls. I also contacted the parent company, Window Depot USA, and I'm still waiting to hear back. The Better Business Bureau has suspended Window Depot of Chicago's accreditation after receiving more than a dozen complaints about the business. The Illinois Attorney General's office has received 22 complaints from consumers, telling the I-Team, quote, we are attempting to assist aggrieved consumers who have filed complaints. It's news that makes this couple hopeful that maybe their $30,000 isn't gone for good. It could have been helpful towards so much with my son, vacations, you know, or even just putting aside for our future. Mm. The Illinois Attorney General's office tells me they encourage anyone who believes they've been harmed by this company to file a complaint with their office. We do have a link to do so on our website. And the Cook County State's attorney tells the I-team that their fraud unit is looking into this to see if legal action is appropriate. That's certainly something we're going to stay on top of, too. But just so much money, $30,000, yes. and so many other people with similar stories. Yeah. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.